this bear is white, but it's not an albino. And no, it's not a polar bear. It's a rare subspecies of black bear found only in the rainforests of British Columbia, Canada. There are only an estimated 100,000 to 500 of them left, so this makes them rarer than polar bears. The spirit bear, or kermode bear, gets its name from the First Nations people who call them mokshmol, meaning those who walk on water. They are viewed as sacred, embodying resilience and harmony with nature. Their white fur results from a recessive gene that causes a mutation in the MC1R gene, which is also responsible for red hair in humans. Most kermode bears have black coats though, and occasionally a litter can have both black and white cubs. Spirit bears are about four to six feet long and weigh between 150 and 500 pounds. Males are larger than females. They're omnivores, eating salmon, berries, roots, and small mammals. But salmon runs in the fall are crucial for fat reserves to make it through winter hibernation from November to March. Their white fur gives them a hunting edge. Salmon are less likely to see them coming in daylight hours, which boosts their catch rate. Spirit bears are solitary creatures coming together only to mate or when mothers are raising cubs. Cubs are born in January or February in secluded dens and are weaned by 18 months. With habitat loss from logging, pipelines and declining salmon stocks, these bears are in danger. Although they're not currently listed as, as endangered, there's hope that conservation efforts led by First Nations like the Kitasu Zaikshais and uh, Gitgaat will protect their forest home. British Columbia named the Kermode bear its provincial mammal in 2006. And ecotourism, while posing a risk of human disturbance, does help support local economies. The spirit bear is a true forest mystic, elusive and revered, a symbol of the wild places that still remain.